So, so, Kelly and I have some news here. This is something that uh, she and I have been talking about for a long time, and it, it was a tough, tough decision. Uh, last year, we spoke, and I made the decision to make this my last season as co-host with Kel here on Live with Kelly and Ryan, which is bittersweet. I get you it. Know? No, I mean, listen, you uh, uh, are a gem. You are one of my best friends. And I said, like, the greatest part of this entire experience has been that you've gone from being a, f a friend to a family member. I feel you that are, way. You are I, family I feel that to way us. about both of us. Yeah. It's, uh, it's remarkable to be able to sit in this chair. So what I plan to do is once American Idol starts from Los Angeles live later in the spring, I'll head out to the West Coast and host that show, the 21st season of American Idol from Los Angeles. And... You're not getting rid of me because, Gelman, yeah. I'm coming back to guest host yeah. and fill in right here in this chair. But I have to say uh, to, to you as a, as a dear friend coming in, but as a best friend, you know, in this moment, to have your kindness, your thoughtfulness, your levity, um, your friendship. Um, I look up to you. I, I respect you so much. I love the fact that we get a chance to sit here every day and connect with you at home in your kitchens, in your living rooms, at work. There's nothing like this on television. I'm getting emotional. I promised <laughs> Kelly I would not cry. Um, and this show really comes together because of a, an incredible family of people, many of which have been here long before me. Um, they come in every day with a, a great attitude, with a lot of fun, with a lot of laughs, and we put this show on. And I have to tell you, I never thought a television show of this caliber was winged so much. Like, we yeah. wing a lot of this show, especially in the first few minutes. <laughs> I told you. I, I thought, you. Really, you don't rehearse that stuff at the beginning? I warned you, I warned you. Truth is, no, we don't. <laughs> we just sort of walk out and let it happen, and I think that's the magic. I mean, it that's is. the beauty. Yeah. Um, and, and the relationship and trust and bond that we have and that we have had, I will always be forever grateful. Like I said, you are family here. Um, we love you. We're so proud of you. Like, we are, we... You're proud I made it through the winters. No, I really... I know, I, I know. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> the first winter, and by winter I mean it was like October 1st, and Ryan came in with a Canada goose coat and Uggs. <laughs> and I said, guys, and he's thermals. not going to make it. It's This is going to be too cold for him. But I really <laughs> am. I'm so proud of you, and I cheer you on endlessly and I know how much of a sacrifice it's been I know how t exhausting it is going back and forth and you know uh, I fully understand your decision making and like Ryan said we have been talking about this for a I long think time originally it was three years I, was gonna, I committed to three he was years supposed to be here said... for three years he's like we we're just like oh don't be ridiculous <laughs> I mean you already but, moved but, your sofa here <laughs> but you know. three turned into six because of the genuine fun of being on this television show every hour of every weekday I love you so much and we have Really exciting news to add to this. We do. We do. I love this part too. This is the shocking twist. Of Here the we whole go. Thing. Lean okay. into the screen. So lean in in case. Turn the volume up. Um, I'm having so those feelings right now in the gut. Because like we are so aware um, of the importance of continuity and consistency and like the familial vibe that we all have here. Um, it only makes sense to not just. The, our viewing audience at home, but our our audience here within our staff, our support system, our uh, extended family, to bring in somebody that we know and love, <laughs> and who's really always been here and really like just one of like my favorite a, people, an extension of you, if you will. <laughs> the only person I uh, can think of that is capable of, you know, holding holding your torch the way you have held it, and that would be uh, my husband, Mark Consuelos. In what Ryan and I are calling the nation's weirdest social experiment. 
I can't wait to watch. Okay. Well, he can't wait because he's got a lot of uh, well, grievances, grievances <laughs> to him. And he always feels he said, like this is a safe space. Yeah, he said he's got a list of things to address <laughs> in the first... he wants to get off now, his this chest. Is a, this is still a few months out, yes, but right. uh, he's We've making his list and, and running it by me. Uh, but congratulations <laughs> to, to you, to Mark. And to you. And, and thank and you very you. much. And I look forward to being Mark's fill-in. Mark's going to come. Oh, Mark, yeah, Mark's coming by, by tomorrow. Mark's going to be <laughs> on tomorrow. Yes, he's going to come. We're going to talk to him. Are you already changing you. the signs, Gilman? What's going the, on? He's not hosting. He's, he's just He's just coming which by. Which one of Ryan's the, jackets he wants to keep? Yeah. Mark, feel free to uh, redesign the dressing room in a couple of months. All right. <laughs> bring your bring your list of grievances, and we'll <laughs> edit them for you here. Um, but seriously, thank I, you. I this has been the greatest ride for me. I I've can't had the best thank time. you enough on all of our behalf because. You, there is nobody else like you. There's nobody uh, that can really do what you do. And, you know, I know you in real life as well as TV life. And I say this about very few people. Um, what you see is what you get. This is not like your, this is not an act. This is a good man. And I am so just endlessly impressed by you and I hope and pray that you uh, keep us informed about your personal life and I promise I will barely announce anything here on the show. <laughs> <laughs> You got it. I, I feel the same way about you. I, I promise. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break so I can cry. 